Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In physics, let us discuss about simple pendulum. Look at this figure. Here, a bob is connected with inextensible string. The tension of that string is T. Here, this T Newton is uh, here, this same line, this is mg cos theta and perpendicular to that line is mg sin theta. Components of this T is mg cos theta and mg sin theta. This perpendicular is mg. Here, the length of bob is L. Angle between the perpendicular to the bob which is the string is uh, theta degrees. Now, we will uh, discuss about simple pendulum. A simple pendulum is a mechanical arrangement that demonstrates periodic motion. That means the moments of the bob is periodic. That means at fixed time it uh, completes some number of oscillations. The simple pendulum comprises a small bob of mass m suspended by a thin string secured to a platform at its upper end of length L, we shown here. A simple pendulum is a mechanical system that all, always or uh, sways or moves in an oscillatory motion. This motion occurs in a vertical plane and is mainly driven by the gravitational force. Here, once we start the pendulum, it's driven by gravitational force only. Interestingly, the bob that is suspended at the end of thread very light, somewhat we can say it is even massless. That means it is inextricable string as well as very less mass. The period of a simple pendulum can be made ex extended by increasing the length of string while taking the measurements from the point of suspension to the middle of the bob. Meanwhile, pendulums are common system whose usage is seen in various instances. Some are used in clocks to keep track of the time while some are just used for fun in case of children's swing. Here are the important terms in a simple pendulum. Here the oscillatory motion of a simple pendulum. Oscillatory motion is defined as the to and fro motion of the pendulum in a periodic fashion and the center point of oscillation known as equilibrium position. Look at this figure. Here this is the equilibrium position. The bob oscillates here this way like. It's called a oscillatory motion. The time period of a simple pendulum. It is defined as the time taken by the pendulum to finish one full oscillation and denoted by t. Look at this figure. Here, suppose pendulum starts from here, go one end, come to center point and go other end and come to the center point. It's called a one oscillation. That means total promotion. From center point to one extreme and come to that center point and go second extreme and come to the original position. It's called one oscillation. Next is for time taken for one oscillation is called time period T. The amplitude of a simple pendulum. It is defined as the distance traveled by the pendulum from the equilibrium position to one side. So from center point to one side distance is called a amplitude of a simple pendulum length of simple pendulum. It is defined as the distance between the point of suspension to the center of the bob and is denoted by L. Now, time period of simple pendulum. We will discuss further about time period of simple pendulum. A point mass M is suspended from the end of the light inextensible string whose upper end is fixed to a rigid support the mass is displaced from its mean position. Here we have to assumption, consider some assumptions. 
there is a negligible friction from the air and the system that means we are uh, avoiding uh, that means you are not taking consideration of the air friction between air and the ball the arms of the pendulum does not bend or compress or it's massless the pendulum swings in a perfect plane that means it's a one perfect vertical plane it's a swing gravity remains constant next time period will discuss further that means what we will derive the equation for the time period using the e equation of motion we know that t that is tension is balanced by uh, mg cos theta that is equal me into l here look at this figure is that the tension of the string is balanced by mg cos theta now that is t minus mg cos theta that is which is equal mv l that is the torque tending to bring the mass to its equilibrium position here torque equal to mg l that is mass into gravity into length of pendulum into sin theta equal to mg sin theta into l here this uh, which is equal i into alpha where i equal to moment of inertia of the body for small angles we know that for oscillation small oscillation if theta is small we can consider sin theta equal to theta therefore we can write i alpha that is moment of inertia into angular acceleration is equal to minus mg l theta from that we get it alpha equal minus mg l theta over i then that is uh, omega minus omega omega square theta this is uh, actually uh, alpha equal to can consider omega square theta in that omega minus omega square equal to minus mg l theta over l therefore from that we can write omega theta omega omega 0 equal square root of mg l that is uh, here omega 0 equal to square root of mg l over i here this i moment of inertia i equal to m into l square that is mass into length square where i denotes the moment of inertia of the body therefore we get get uh, omega 0 is square root of square root of g by l that is uh, uh, that is initial angular velocity is square root of root of g by l therefore you can say the time period of a simple pendulum is given by t equal to you know that t equal to 2 pi by omega omega is angular velocity then we can say 2 pi into uh, 2 pi by uh, that is uh, this is multiplication of divide, division of g by l then l by g that is uh, reciprocal so we have t equal to 2 pi by omega which is equal to 2 pi root of l by g this is uh, formula for time period of simple pendulum now we can further discuss about energy of the simple pendulum here the potential energy we know that potential energy is any mass is how much high from the floor level that much have that potential energy that is called mgh that is mass into gravity into that height from the floor the potential energy is given by the basic equation that is mgh where m is the mass of the object g is the gra acceleration due to gravity h is the height of the object so if you find the product mgh we can get the potential energy of the body from that uh, from the ground position however the moment of the pendulum is not free fall it is 
constrained by the rod or string. That means it's not a free fall, it is, it is constrained with a string because the bob is connected with, with string. The height is written in terms of uh, angle theta L, therefore H equal L into 1 minus cos theta. Here, by trigonometrical approach, look at this, this H, this L equal to L equal to 1 minus cos theta, that is this height. This height, this height equal L minus, that is uh, here, this uh, H equal to L into 1 minus cos theta, this is a relation between the trigonometric relation between the H and the L. Now, the theta equal to 90 degree, that is, uh, theta is 90 degree, the pendulum at the highest point, means the pendulum just oscillate and come to here, this is the highest point, therefore cos, we know that cos 90 equals 0, that from that H equal to L, means at that horizontal position, that is, uh, that bob is, suppose if it is horizontal position, then uh, the pendulum is at the highest point, then cos 90 equal to 0, therefore H equal to L. Then potential energy equal to MgL, mass into gravity into length, therefore we have theta equal to 0, the pendulum is at the lowest point. If theta equal to 0, the pendulum is at the lowest point, that means at the middle point, Mm, therefore, H equal to L uh, 1 minus 1, that means cos 0 is 1, that is 1 minus cos 0, that is 1 minus 1 is 0, therefore <coughs> H equal to 0. The potential energy is 0 <coughs> at the middle point, that is the, the bob is at the lowest point, there is no potential energy. At all the points, the between the potential energy is given by MgL into 1 minus cos theta. If theta, we have to substitute the values of theta so wherever the bob is there, at, at that position we can find the potential energy. That is the formula is MgL into 1 minus cos theta. Now, kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the pendulum is given as kinetic energy is equal half mv square. Normally, what is kinetic energy? Uh, a body, while it's moved, has some energy. It's called a kinetic energy. If the velocity is higher, the kinetic energy is more and more. If the body stops, kinetic energy is zero. M is the mass of the pendulum, V is the velocity of the pendulum. At the highest point, the kinetic energy is zero. That means that uh, Bob is at the horizontal position. Uh, horizontal position, that means uh, its kinetic energy is zero and its maximum at the lowest point. That means it's opposite to potential energy. Potential energy is maximum at the higher uh, horizontal position, but here kinetic energy is zero at horizontal position. The total energy is constant as the function of the time. That means, therefore, wherever, wherever the point, if we take the bob where it is, that potential energy and kinetic energy, that means it's called a sum of these two energies, total energy, it is a constant mechanical energy of the bob. In a simple pendulum, the mechanical energy of the simple pendulum is conserved. That means total energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy. Kinetic energy, we know that half m is by potential energy equal to mgl into 1 minus cos theta, which is a constant. Here, no, that means we have to consider some consideration here. If the temperature of the system changes, then the time period of the simple pendulum changes due to change in length of the pendulum. That means here, due to uh, uh, due to temperature changes, the metallic parts. That means suppose the bob is connected with a small uh, metallic metallic string. Uh, that means it's extended. While temperature is more, it's extended, and Temperature less, it's the length become less. So, due to temperature changes, the oscillation also time period also changes. A simple pendulum is placed in a non-inertial frame of reference. That means, uh, that means uh, it, that the frame should be stopped. That frame should not move. 
it means the mean position of the pendulum may change. In, in these cases, G is replaced by G effective. That means, suppose uh, the pendulum is on the lift, while the lift is moving up and down, due to that gravity changes, little changes, due to that uh, time period also changes. That means, the pendulum must be kept in stopping for the, that means that the frame should be fixed to position, it should not move with the frame of reference. Physical pendulum. A yeah, simple pendulum is an idealized model. It is not achievable in reality. But the physical pendulum is a real pendulum in which a body of finite shape oscillates. Oscillate. From its frequency of oscillation, we can calculate the moment of inertia of the body about the axis of rotation. Now, here, if the body is displaced through a small angle theta, the release released from the position. That means very small angle. A torque is exerted by the weight of the body to restore to its equilibrium position. Torque equal to minus mg into d sin theta means uh, mg is downward force and perpendicular distance of that uh, bob from the fixed point is d sin theta. That is minus mg d sin theta is torque. We know that torque is I alpha, I is moment of inertia and alpha is angular acceleration. Therefore, we can equate both this tau is I alpha equal to minus mg d psi theta. And now differentiate this I into d square theta by dt square. We have minus mg d psi theta. That means first differentiation is d theta by dt. Then second differentiation is d square theta by dt square which we have minus mg d sin theta where i equal to moment of inertia of the body about the axis of rotation therefore d square by dt square equal mg d over l and over l sin theta since sin theta equal to theta because it's very less angle we can equate sin theta equal to theta there, uh, therefore omega zero that is angular velocity equal to square root of mgd over i now the time period the time period of physical pendulum is we know that 2 pi by omega that 2 pi by root of i by mgd that is you are substituting this omega here now let us discuss some uh, frequently asked question about uh, simple pendulum a simple pendulum is a point mass suspended by a weightless and inextensible string fixed at rigidly support. So this is a simple definition of simple pendulum. Here, what is an expression for the time period of a simple pendulum? That is time period we know that 2 pi by root of L by G where L is the length of the pendulum, G is a acceleration due to gravity. Here some question is there like on what factors does the energy of the particle execute a such on depends. That is uh, the factors are mass of the particle, square of the amplitude of the particle, square of the frequency of the vibrating particle. These are the factors affecting due to the executing a such on. Depend, that is simple harmonic motion depends on these three factors. What is second pendulum? A pendulum whose time period is two seconds is known as a yeah, second pendulum. That means a uh, pendulum, suppose it's com one complete oscillation, it takes two seconds, it's called a yeah, second pendulum. That means for half oscillation, it takes one second. Uh, when will the motion of the simple pendulum be simple harmonic motion? The motion of the simple pendulum will be simple harmonic motion if the angular displacement theta is very small. That means if you consider theta is very small, it executes simple harmonic motion. When a pendulum is taken on top of the mountain, will the time period increase or decrease? The time period increase as g decreases. Wherever g decreases, the time period will increase. It's vice versa. That means, so it gains time. Suppose the if g is more and more, the time period less. Why simple pendulum does not vibrate at the center of the earth? Because at the center of the earth, G is zero. So if you substitute the value of G is zero here, a time period is infinity. And that means G is down. 
the pendulum will take infinite time to complete one vibration. In other words, the pendulum will not vibrate at the center of the earth. Now, next question. A vibrating simple pendulum of time period T is placed in a lift which is accelerating upwards. What will be the effect of the time period? Suppose you are keeping the simple pendulum in a lift and lift is moving upward with acceleration. What happens? When the lift is accelerated upward, the weight of the pendulum increases. New weight is mg days and is given as mg days equal to mg plus ma acceleration on the lift is a, m is the mass, g is the gravitation. Therefore, m cancel everywhere and g days equal to g plus a. The time period of the pendulum, that is we know that time period is 2 pi root of l by g becomes t days equal to 2 pi root of l g days. Here, g days increases with g therefore time period new time period is less therefore the time period decreases while uh, we are keeping the simple pendulum in lift if accelerates upward that is lift accelerates upward the time period decreases here these are some definitions and explanation and derivation we, we discussed Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.